guys are just waiting to do this video because uh, it was pissing me off all day long um, about how we've discovered something sneaky, let's just say, to put it very uh, politely, that a lot of these manufacturers, when they get their manufacturer's spec, the specifications that they're so proud to display on their website or in their manual, um, that they market with, hey, our machine gets you know, 15 Gs, our machine gets 9 Gs, our machine gets whatever at 25 hertz, whatever it is, okay? And then they give you the horsepower, okay? Um, what you have to look into, we already looked into it, by the way, uh, is, is that, did that spec come from tests that were run with a plate that had somebody on it or had weight loaded on top of it or unloaded? We found when we really pressed a lot of these companies to actually submit their paperwork to us that about 90% of the time these tests were run without any weight on them. Hmm, wow, that's a real world condition. You know, here, try our machine, but you can't actually stand on it if you want that 20 G's. Yeah, okay, and how much did your machine cost? Anyways, ridiculous. Bullshit is, is really what it is. So, you, what you have to actually inquire and have them prove, this is ridiculous, you even have to do this, is that horsepower that you gave me, was that peak horsepower when you first stepped on the machine and it went up to the full amplitude with the full amount of G-force? But then once it pops back up again and again and again and again going into that 60 seconds, 120 seconds and so on and so forth, where's your horsepower at now? Where's your G-force at now? And I'm a 150 pound person, what if my friend is 250 pounds? There's all these questions that are just completely not even talked about. It's just this general spec. Oh, 20 G's, great. So I have a pet elephant I'm going to put on the machine, and you should be able to get 20 G's as well, too. So it's not real world scenarios. They're fake specs when you really think about it, okay? Because there's a big difference. It's pissing me off that some legitimate companies actually have specs that talk about constant horsepower, constant G force all the way throughout the session, you know, reaching the full amplitude, okay, that they talk about. And these other companies can just make these bogus claims, all right, that are, I guess, technically true if nobody actually stands on the machine, which is ridiculous, uh, but they're getting away with it. So we want you to ask these companies. We want you to make them have to be more honest, you know, push them, ask them these questions. But we've analyzed all the machines. We already know. We've already asked for submissions of all the manufacturer's specs for all these different machines. So there is some legitimate ones out there with their specs that you can actually believe and actually get that performance that you paid for, and some you're definitely not going to, okay? So that's why people call me all the time, they're like, well, this one says it gets 20 Gs and has 25 Hertz, and this one's a fraction of the cost, and it's 20, well, yeah, of course. You know, it's not just they're giving it away because they, they want to give more expensive machines away cheaper, okay? There's an actual reason for it. Uh, and you have to look at the actual specifications. Anyways, give me a call if you have any more questions.